Sunrise time now for our moment of faith brought to us by Lee Greenwood and the God Bless the USA Bible and focus today understanding the Bible and the idea of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You know, the Trinity seems to confuse a lot of people. Uh, Muslims and Jews say Christianity is not monotheistic, uh, but that Christians believe in three gods. And worse yet, they believe in a God who once wore diapers. What's the biblical view of all of this it's a big question that begs a big answer and who better than one of our favorite guests here at american sunrise to answer just that joining us now with insight of course one of our favorite guests i'm going to repeat it twice because we really mean it jim mosley the author of the dc and of course uh, his latest uh, book is appropriately titled discovering jesus uh, jesus's disciple excuse me jim is an author, of course, around here, we call him the Bible history guy. Jim, always good to see you. Uh, by the way, I guess my understanding, by the way, is that rabbis hundreds of years ago determined that Christians are monotheists, but uh, but either way, just tell, tell us more about the Trinity and, and the explanation behind all of that, Jim. Well, I think the problem arises when you look at Deuteronomy, where the Lord, where, which says the Lord is one, which that's true. But then Jesus in John 10, 30 says, I and the Father are one. Well, how can those two things be true? It can only be true if God is both one and plural. Now, that's not too crazy because the world is filled with plural units. We see them all over the place. We see weeks. A week is a unit made of seven units called days. Uh, also, God tells us to love us with all our heart and soul and strength. So he's teaching us basically that we, like him, are trinities. We're supposed to love us with those three parts. Now, it's not difficult, and that's partly what he means when he says God made us in his own image. You know, it's not difficult to understand why we get confused, because I don't look at you and say, oh, there are three Davids. I look at you and I say, oh, there's David. But we all talk to ourselves, and we can't imagine ourselves being us without being having those three components, the body, the soul, and the, and the mind. And we see the Bible teaches this, too. In Genesis 1-1, the Hebrew says God's plural, created, singular, the heavens and the earth. And it becomes even more clear when the Hebrew verb is in the past tense, is, is not in the past tense. So it says God's plural, no, singular, that the moment you eat of it, you will be like God's. So we see that in the language, and this is not just the language of plural unity, because Queen Victoria didn't say, we is not a means. She said, we are not a means. And in Psalm 82, it says that um, God's plural assembles with himself and issues judgment among the gods. Now, for God to be just singular, how could he get together with himself? How could he confer with himself and assemble with himself and issue a singular, a singular judgment? So this is what we're taught. You know, it's not a strange concept. It's just because we look at him and think, well, how could one be way more than one? But we look inside ourselves, we realize we're like that too. And we don't feel schizophrenic when we think that way. So it's just a, it's just a net, the nature of God. Uh, such a good point. Yeah, so this just in, humans have feeble minds, and we can't understand, uh, so to speak, uh, the mind of God because we're not God, uh, first of all. Uh, but beyond all of that, Jim, uh, the, the truth of the matter is, uh, and talk to me a little bit about this, the Trinity obviously serves a purpose, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, with all different intricate parts. I mean, Jesus had to, I mean, he had to send his son down to earth uh, to walk among us for uh, an eternal purpose. Well, look at Moses when he was on Mount Sinai. He wanted to see God, and God said, man cannot see my face and live. So if we got full exposure to God, we couldn't survive it. However, God passed by Moses, and God saw his back. Now, we don't want to see that you know, God doesn't have a back, he doesn't have nostrils or ears or anything like that. But what he saw was the second person of the Trinity. That's part of the function of Jesus, was to be able to appear to humans without destroying us. We have access to God through him because he is the image, the very God of very God, who can appear to us, we can survive, and we can know God through him. Jim, we have so many people uh, every week that want to know how they can get more information and interact with you. What's the best way to do that? Is there a website, other places for people to go? Yeah, lots of people do that. It's www.thebiblehistoryguy.com, thebiblehistoryguy.com. 
you know, so impressive that you put the WWW in there. Right. <laughs> that, that's, called, that's called going old school. My guess is you have a pager, and if you do, uh, be careful. <laughs> it might go off at any moment. Thank you, Jim Moses. I don't have a pager. Wait, what am I trying to say? You know, no. That's true. No, no. You don't work for Hezbollah. That's right. You're not no. the Hezbollah guy. Okay. You're the Bible history guy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, my bad. Back with the second hour of American Sunrise in two minutes. Introducing the limited edition God Bless the USA Bible, inspired by Lee Greenwood's hit song and the most recognized patriotic anthem in America. God Bless the USA. The God Bless the USA large print leather-bound King James Bible also contains America's founding documents, the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance, along with a handwritten chorus to Lee Greenwood's song, God Bless the USA. With its large print and slim design, this Bible invites you to explore God's Word anywhere, anytime. The God Bless the USA Bible makes the perfect gift and cherished family heirloom keepsake to pass on to future generations. Designed for an easy reading experience in the trusted King James Version translation, this large print Bible is perfect to take to church, Bible study, work, and for traveling. Order yours today at GodBlessTheUSABible.com. Time's running out to save during Tommy Bahama Month, our biggest sale of the year. Final weeks to shop the world's largest Tommy Bahama retailer with 50% off all the Tommy Bahama brands you love. That's right, 50% off Ocean Breeze, 50% off Oyster Bay, 50% off Palm Desert, and 50% off Island Estate, one of our most popular collections. If it's Tommy, it's 50% off. Final 